Hi loves, today we're gonna to be talking about the body language behind adrenal fatigue and to understand that, we need to understand what are the adrenals responsible for. They actually drip cortisol into your bloodstream and they prepare you for action. So if you are someone that's been in fight and flight mode a lot, your body is going to be on a pretty consistent drip of cortisol because it's preparing you for action. It's preparing you to run away from the danger or to protect yourself and stand your ground. Adrenal fatigue by definition then would be the adrenals feeling fatigued because they've been overused. So this would mean someone who's been in a fight and flight uh, response for a long time. It's the body literally saying, yo, I cannot keep up with the level of running away from your problems or fighting so many things that are coming into your space. Maybe your responses aren't as dramatic. Maybe they look like working too much or overextending yourself in sports or constant research or finding any activity to do other than just sitting still and being with yourself and allowing your body that rest it needs. Now let's talk about the side effects of what happens when we overuse our adrenals and we go into fatigue. One of the major things people experience is tiredness, obviously. This is your body sending a loud, clear message saying, hey, all this running, all this fighting, I cannot keep up with the level of energy output you're requiring from me. I physically need to rest, like a lot, like midday naps, eight, 10 hours sleeping at night, maybe I'll take a nap in the morning. This is the level of rest that the body needs when it's going through adrenal fatigue. You might also be experiencing some insomnia and this happens because the brain gets on this hamster wheel when it's scared, when it feels like it needs to survive, it's always looking for the next move. How can I care for myself? How can I provide myself? How can I protect myself from harm? So a lot of times people will experience insomnia and this is going to lead to a whole other slew of issues. The main one being the cognitive function. When we are in a fight and flight mode uh, repeatedly, it actually stunts the growth and maturity of the neocortex. So our ability to think clearly, uh, understand long-term effects of things, plan, all of that gets hijacked when we're in a fight or flight mode. You might also experience some depression because when you are actively running away from your issues, that's actively pressing down the truth of what you're feeling. So you're going to experience depression. As well, our guts are responsible for processing our emotions. So if we're pressing down our emotions and we're not feeling them, we're gonna have lots of gut health issues. And we all know how children get when they're not getting enough sleep and they're fatigued and they're not sure how to communicate their needs, then come the mood swings. So you may have challenges regulating your mood, responding in a calm and mature way when a challenge comes your way, and this is all normal. This really what's happening with adrenal fatigue, it's the body having an adult temper tantrum. You know, like when the kid is so tired and they're running errands with you all day and they're not sure how to communicate their needs and they just have a meltdown in the grocery store. This is the adult version of that. This is your body having a temper tantrum and saying, we can't do this anymore. Something has got to give. Why all this talk about adrenal fatigue? Well, pretty much the whole world's been prom pro the, 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 traumatized. <laughs> especially these last few years with the level of lies and deception and ill intent. Uh, a lot of people are scared right now. We're scared, lots of running, lots of hiding from things, lots of fighting and bickering going on in between us. And so we need to understand that this is evidence that we have been traumatized. We're all showing to the world what we've been through for the past few years, for the past several generations. We have been traumatized and so now we all get to see the body language come alive, which means we get to do the work to shift all that. How do we get here? How do we get to this place of feeling scared, fighting for ourselves, running for our lives? How did we get here? 
No more cognitive dissonance thinking, oh, everything's just, it ain't fine. <laughs> if you're experiencing dis-ease in your body, it ain't fine. The other reason why I'm sharing is because if you decide to embark on this journey of remembering, of putting back together your dismembered parts, of healing all the parts of you that were torn apart, you are also going to be experiencing adrenal fatigue as well because the re very real thing that happens when you go through the healing process is a lot of re-triggering. And this is done because you get to re-pattern. As you are re-triggered, you get to re-pattern. So you need rest from all the running and the fighting that you were doing and you need rest in order to integrate your new way of being. And for you brainiacs out there, Deep sleep is the only time your brain actually cleans itself. So listen to the language of your body. Give yourself what you need to actually heal and thrive. And if you're curious about this work and would like to dive deeper with me, check out the link in my bio and see what offerings I have. I love you. Mwah.